Hello everyone, we all know that upscaling images using AI model needs a lot of VRAM. Most of known workflow like super workflow create you a good results at high resolution. However, you need to, to have a good VRAM graphic card. So today I'm gonna show you the new method using control net tile, which was released by Xinser recently that allows you to create high resolution images using a low VRAM memory. This is the same author that created the control net union, which we saw in the previous tutorial. So if you are interested in upscaling process, let's dive into tutorial. Before we jump to the workflow, you need to download some additional model in order to make it work. First, let's start with the tile control net model. You can check the link under my description. Just download this diffusion pytorch model. Once it is done, go to your comfy UI root folder, then under model and search for control net just paste your model here and rename it for my case i rename it tile sensor after that i also downloaded the upscaling model you can also check the link under my description it is the four time upscaler i and i downloaded the safe tensor version once it is done also go to your comfy ui model folder and search for upscale model then just place it here okay now we can start our Comfy UI. Once you enter your Comfy UI, just download my workflow and load it. Once you load it, you will face up with the issue that having some uh, missing nodes. To fix that, go just enter manager and install missing custom nodes. It will automatically install all the necessary nodes for you. Once it is done, make sure to update Comfy UI and update all. Then just restart your comfy ui and you can start working with the upscaling nodes okay now let's jump to the workflow overview which is composed of different main group first we have our load image group which is gonna be plugged which is gonna be plugged here to the upscale image by we're gonna increase the resolution by two then downscale it to 1024 since we are using a sdxl model this step seems stupid however it gives me the best results i don't know why then our upscaled image is gonna be plugged into the tile size calculation which is gonna be used to calculate the size the tile nodes the get image size here is gonna take into consideration our real resolution then we have our simple math nodes that is gonna take the height and width of the image divided by two in order to create it, the tile resolution everything is then plugged into the tile diffusion nodes which is gonna be used for the tile creation okay here we have our tile control net nodes which are the classic one i make sure that i loaded the tile sincere model then i apply the control net nodes with the strength of one and the end percentage of one i also prepared an auto prompt generator which is gonna use the wd tagger to create an automatic prompt then this automatic prompt is gonna be plugged into the sdxl prompt styler since we are enhancing our image resolution and this prompt styler is gonna be linked to the clip text encode a positive one and a negative one which is gonna be used for the control net and the key sampler steps but before we do that we need some additional nodes which are the tile vae encode and the tile vae decode which are necessary in order to encode and decode our tile that we created by default you will have a low resolution of 64 however i changed it to 1024 since we are using an stxl version for the key sampler i used a low cfg scale and steps since i am working with the stxl lightning model and sampler i use the sampler of dpm plus plus and caras as scheduler once our image is decoded we will end up having a 2k resolution image so in order to upscale it more i use this four time upscalers using the ultra sharp model here we are downscaling our image again but you can bypass these nodes if you want more resolution then the upscale image is gonna upscale it into four times once it is done i use the sharpen image in order to have more sharpen image and i also noticed that in some cases we have some color change issue due to the tile control net to fix that we added our image color match 
which is gonna fix our color based on the Im original image that we have loaded in the first place. Here we have our image reference and the image target, which is gonna be our image that we upscaled before. Okay, once it is done, we will have the final results here. And I added these notes in order to compare between the original and the four time upscaled version model. Okay, now that we have a good overview on my workflow, let's jump into the test. So I did the first trial. And here you can see the steps that we are going through in order to obtain our 4K resolution. Here we have our 2K image that was created using this style control net. You can see how much it is closer to the original one. Then we have our upscaled version at 4K resolution. You can also see how good the result is. Then after the image sharpening and the color collection, we obtain this version. In order for you to notice the importance of this style control net, I also prepared an upscaled version directly using the four, four times ultra sharp model. You can also see that we have good results here. However, I will show you the main difference. As you can see here, we have more details that are closer to the original image using the tile control net version. However, when we upscale it using directly the ultra sharp model, we have some, some details that are lost in the process. You can also observe here the eye, which is different from the original one. For the tile control net version, the image is more closer to the original one. So these details can can vary according to the reference image that we want to upscale. But for this image, we have some details that are changed compared to the original one. So let me show you another example and you will understand more what I am saying. I'm going to use this image over here. Click Q prompt and I will show you the results once it is done. And here we have our second results. As you can see, the image looks good. However, Let's open up in a new folder and try to zoom out to see the difference between them. Here we have the directly upscaled version using the ultra sharp model. And first of all, we can notice that the image here has more details compared to the control net upscaled version. As you can see, we have more details on the clothes. The face also looks good, but let's try to compare it with this one. Here, the face doesn't look quite good, and the clothes details are not as close to the reference image. So, we can say that this upscaled version it is more accurate for, for this type of image. But let's test out another image and see if we can still obtain good or bad results with this control net version. Let's see this octopus version and let's compare it again. Here we have another results. Let's first compare it to the original one. You can clearly see that we have more details here. However, let's open up in the new tab the image and zoom out. Here we have some additional details on the head. And the eyes looks weird on this side. But let's compare it with the upscaled version directly. Here we also have some weird details on the eyes and we have less details here on the head also we have some part that are blurry in some way but the image is also looking good here and i think this control net version is more impressive compared to this ultra sharp model here we can see that we have some color change that's why i add this image color match in order to correct our images but it is not an important problem okay let's do another trial and compare it again i'm gonna choose a close-up image like this one or let's select the curve directly and see the results again okay we have another result for the close-up portrait of a girl you can clearly see the main difference between the original and the full time upscaled using this control net as we have here more details and the image look more impressive but let's compare it with the ultra sharp model version and see the results here for the ultra sharp you can notice that we have some skin problem here the skin doesn't look natural and it is it is like a painted image that we have on the other side the upscaled version using the control net looks more natural to me 
we can observe the skin details that are more natural compared to the full time upscaled version. So let's choose another image. This one, I'm gonna select this image over here and see if we can get something interesting. Okay, we have another results using this port, this image, this nature image. And you can clearly see the main difference between the original and the upscaled image. But let's zoom out to see more details and see if it is good. As you can see, the image doesn't look quite good to me, but let's try to compare it with the upscaled version using the ultra sharp model. And this one seems very good compared to the control net version. Here we have more details that are close to the original image. So I think this type of image must have some optimization using the strength of the control net in order to obtain the good results. But we will see that later. Okay, let's do the final test and compare it again. So we have here another environment image. Let's first compare it with the original and we can clearly observe that the image is more cleaner compared to the original. Here we have the image which is very blurry but for the upscaled version it looks more good. Okay, let's compare it with another upscaled version. Open image. You can see that the ultra sharp model looks good and it is a very cleaner image. However, for the, the control net tile version, the final image is not that good as it should be. Okay, so we can clearly observe that this control net version is quite suitable for the portrait images or close up images. But we will try to change some parameters in order to make it work. So, to fix up this issue, I I changed some parameters in the tile size calculation nodes by changing the value here from a divided by 2 to a divided by 1. You can also use the multiplication if you want. It's gonna give you the same results. I did the same thing for the height and the width. Then I just click Q prompt and the issue was fixed for me. Here you can clearly see the results that are more impressive and more acceptable compared to the previous results when we selected the A divided by 2. So that's it for today's video. If you like this tutorial, please push the like button for me, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch my other videos. Thank you.